Hello and welcome to another episode of Outdoor Defense. The topic this week is setting boundaries. Now what is a boundary? A boundary is basically a line that marks a limit and it can be physical or it can be intangible. In the context of self-defense, we talk about setting boundaries because an assailant cannot commit an attack unless they get through your boundaries. So one of the first ways that we can set a strong boundary and show that we're not only confident, but that we have a limit and we're not afraid to hold it is to keep someone that is causing our intuition to spark up, keeping them at a distance. Proximity is really important. Now, if someone is getting too close to me and my intuition is sending me a message that this isn't okay, one of the first ways to set a boundary is just to tell them, step back. It can look something like this. Look, that's close enough. I want you to step back. Or even, I don't want you to come any closer to me. That's close enough. And notice I didn't apologize. You don't have to apologize for setting a boundary for yourself. And if someone is getting a little close, but maybe they're keeping their distance, but you still don't wanna to talk to them, you can set another boundary by simply saying, I'm not interested in having this conversation with you. Yes, it's direct, but it is also important that you speak up for what you need. Your needs matter, and setting boundaries is one of the first ways that we can keep ourselves safe, especially out on the trails.